greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way today and spend a few moments in the Word of God. This week we're talking about the marks of a minister of God from 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 10 and 11. And we're looking at the third mark that the Apostle Paul listed there. He talked about purpose. He told Timothy, you've carefully followed my purpose. And so that's an important mark. When people look at you, what do they see you pursuing? What is your purpose? What is your motivation? What are you pursuing? What is it that inspires you? Why are you doing what you're doing? Purpose. And Paul is saying to Timothy, Timothy, you saw my purpose. Why I was doing what I was doing. What I was pursuing. You saw it. And so in all our serving God and ministering and serving people, purpose is very important. Are we doing it for the right purpose? Are we doing it to glorify God? Are we doing it to really bless people? Are we doing it to strengthen people, to really help people? These are noble purposes. These are godly purposes. These are purposes the Bible tells us to pursue. We've got to guard, guard against wrong purposes, wrong motivations. Is our purpose to become famous? Is our purpose to become well-known? Is our purpose to promote ourselves? Is our purpose to build our own brand? Is our purpose to have our own uh, name, fame and recognition, power, money, influence? What is our purpose? Paul told Timothy, you know my purpose. He wrote in Philippians chapter 3, I press on in verse 12, I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Jesus Christ laid a hold of me. So that's my purpose. I'm pressing on, I'm pursuing what? The pur purpose that Jesus laid a hold of me. He said later on in verse 14, he said, I press toward the upward call of God. So I'm pursuing God's call. The purpose is very clear. I'm answering God's call. I'm pursuing what he has for my life. Nothing else. No other agenda. No other secondary uh, interests. No. One thing. That purpose that God has for my life. That's what I'm going after. When people look at you, do they see purity and purpose? Do they, do they see singularity in purpose? Do they see that you're truly pursuing God's purpose? Let's pray. Father, we ask that you help us, God, to be pure in our purpose, in our pursuits, in our motivations, so that we seek to glorify you and truly serve people with a pure heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.